What is up, Ripple and XRP community? It is Ripple Van Winkle back yet again with another video. Boy, I don't know. I think I got some good sleep last night. I am in a good mood, full of energy this morning. I have so much to go over in regards to China with the new digital central bank backed coin. We'll go over the US Federal Reserve and the House of Treasury. Massive news coming out late last night. But you know what we do first. The price. That is right. XRP is sitting at 18 cents. Currently down 0. 0.40. Buckle up everyone. This has been a wild ride these past five weeks. It's okay. Sub 10 cents is coming. Bitcoin is going to crash. That is what's going to happen. That's the lovely market we are in. And nothing will change until next year mark our words enough of that let's jump right into the news we must have a dozen tabs open we need to go over everything make sure you stick around to the end so you do not miss the u.s treasury's news from last night but up first from michael everyone knows him by now we feature him a lot on this channel give him a follow at val five links sends us an article china's digital wand reportedly to test in four cities via Cointelegraph, which jump right over to the article. As we scroll down, screenshots of a purpose pilot version of a wallet app for China's forthcoming digital yuan and circulating on social media. Ling Zhang, executive director of M&A Global Fiat, a cryptocurrency exchange, Binance first shared the images yesterday, later retreated by Zhang Ho. Hopefully I said that right. So here are the pictures. Let's do a little zoom in for those of you looking at the screen. Looks lovely. None of us really know what it says because I'm pretty sure none of us will speak or can read Chinese. But enough of that. Let's just keep going. According to Ling Zeng, the app is available for download in four cities selected for the internal trial. Says Shenzhen, Chignu, okay, I'm not going to say the rest. You get it. Four Chinese cities testing their new mobile app. She highlights the inclusion of. Z Zing, I don't know how I say it, a new metropolis is located on the outskirts of Beijing, which has been the site of a so dubbed smart city brain project. Okay, awesome, looks good. But let's get into the good stuff. From our man, Baby Yaga. Sure, everyone knows who he is, at Baby Chugs. He tweets out, Chips, C I P S, is ready. Many surprise announcements coming. Look at this. It somebody, I'm not sure if it was him, someone else, but anyways, they put the translations in English under what each icon means. Very, very helpful. So we have scan to pay, we have a transfer, we have a touch it. it means you can simply touch your phone to other phones to complete the transactions. We then have manage your wallets and convert to a DC. What could a DC be? A DC mean? Try saying that three times fast. We're thinking a digital currency. Time will obviously tell. So that is absolutely massive, massive news. Let's jump over to this next tab. This is from 2019, not too long ago, October. Who remembers this? Russia, China, in India to set up alternative to SWIFT payment system to connect 3 billion people. Members of the BRICS, Trade Bloc, Russia, India, and China have decided to connect their financial messaging systems to bypass the SWIFT international money transfer network. Russia, Russia's financial messaging system, SPFS, will be linked with the Chinese cross-border interbank payment system, CHIPS, C-I-P-S. While India does not have a domestic financial messaging system yet, we're working on that. It plans to combine the Central Bank of Russia's platform with a domestic service that is in development. The new system is suspected to work as a gateway model where messages on payments are transcoded in accordance with a certain financial system. Russia began development of SPF in 2014 and Washington threats to disconnect the country from SWIFT. The first transactions on the network were made in December 2017. So how interesting is that? 
Russia's financial messaging system, SPFS, is going to be linked with the Chinese cross-border interbank payment system, CIPS. What are we seeing in this picture? From Baby Yaga, we are seeing an image of chips. Chips is ready. Convert to a digital currency. Very, very interesting. To finish this off, from Jack the Rippler. Boom! China Blockchain, Committee of 15 to sell for digital yuan standard. XRP will be the bridge. Listen, we've been saying this and we have been trying to beat this into your heads since we started this YouTube channel about two weeks ago, uh, two months ago. XRP is needed to bridge all the central bank digital currencies. Think about it. A central bank coin developed by China. How are they going to send that to a central bank in Russia? Russia does not want to hold a coin from the central bank of China and nor does Ru uh, China want to hold a coin from the central bank of Russia. They want to be able to send their stable central bank coins through a ledger which would be the XRP ledger and when it comes out on the other end they want their currency. It is that simple. That is how this is going to work. Jack the Ripple summed it up perfectly. XRP will be the bridge. Do not fight it. It's going to happen, everyone. Let's keep moving. All right, this article is from April 9th. You're probably saying, Mr. Van Winkle, this is old. You covered this last week. Don't you worry. This is going to lead us into our next post. We wanted to set it up for you. Azimo and SCB runs a ripple for instant payments into Thailand. Digital payments are playing an, increase, an increasingly critical role and enabling people to send money home to loved ones, especially in low and middle income countries, where the need for instant affordable transactions are more crucial than ever. According to the World Bank, Thailand is one of the top remittance destinations globally, with 6.7 billion received from abroad each year. It is also one of the most expensive countries to send and receive money. That is the key statement right there. Thailand is one of the most expensive countries to receive and send money. And is one of the top remittance destinations with 6.7 billion received. The high cost and slow co and the slow cross-border payments experienced today leaves remitters with few options, providing an opportunity for global financial institutions to build differentiated value propositions. Seizing this opportunity, Digital Money Transfer Zemo, in partnership with Siam Commercial Bank, one of Thailand's leading universal banks, is launching instant cross-border payments from Europe to Thailand. Azimo is located in Europe. Europe is an on-demand liquidity corridor. This was announced in December of last year. The new connections made, were made possible through RippleNet. Awesome. So it's cross-border payments. We are not seeing anything about on-demand liquidity yet. What do we have here? From utilityscan.com. The U.S. dollar to the Thai bot has been spotted. Some small value payments going through using the exchange BitCub. So what does this mean? It means that they are testing on-demand liquidity into Thailand. That's exactly what this means. Let's pull some more transactions. 160 was sent. Looks like there was four different transactions sent from USD to the Thai bot. So what's going to happen next? Well, we go back to this article from Ripple. Azimo, which already runs on on-demand liquidity, is going to start sending money into Thailand using ODL. Everything is lining up. Ripple is lining them up and knocking them down. Let's keep moving. Here comes the juicy stuff, everyone. This is what you've been waiting for. This is going to send something down your back. Shivers, chills, I don't know. Whatever you get, everyone gets something different. But it sends chills down my back. Let's line this up for you. January 31st. 
2020. From Stuart XRP, give him a follow. U.S. Department of Treasury, National Strategy for Combating Terrorists and Other Elect Financing 2020. Clarify or upgrade our regulatory framework to, to expand coverage of digital assets. Let's zoom in on this picture. Key vulnerabilities exploited. Digital assets. The 2020 strategy focuses the U.S. government efforts along the following key priorities and supporting actions, many of which are already underway to strengthen and make the U.S. AML CFT, CF, CFT regime more effective, efficient, and responsive to an evolving threat environment. As we look further down, clarifying or update our regulatory framework to expand coverage of digital assets. Absolutely brilliant, right? Let's keep going. Tiger Mike 15, give him a follow. Put this out last night. I'm not going to bullshit. Just gave me a woody. Read the last paragraph on the Treasury website. Let's jump over to it. This was an article put out by the U.S. Department of Treasury. It was a press release yesterday. Chair summary, the G7 finance ministers and central bank governors virtual meeting. So they are still having the G7 meetings virtually. We're not going to read this whole article to you. We can link it below. You can read it for yourself. We are going to focus in one small section. This last paragraph. Have a listen. Consistent with the director of leaders, ministers, and governors will continue to consider further near-term actions to stabilize the global economy. Once the immediate impacts of the crisis abate, talking about COVID-19 and the economy, ministers and governors will return to other prior priority agenda items, such as further promoting debt transparency and sustainability, addressing tax challenges resulting from the digitalization of the economy, addressing elect financial flows, and setting proper frameworks for digital assets and cybersecurity of the financial sector. What more do you need to hear? For all of those haters, for all the naysayers, for all the doubters that are out there saying that cryptocurrencies or digital assets are one big scam, all you have to do is throw this in their face. If this was such a scam, the U.S. Treasury would not take time to review and set up the proper frameworks for digital assets. They would not find a way to properly address the tax situation when it comes to digital assets. This is a real thing. Yes, it has got pushed off a little bit, maybe six months, maybe a year, maybe less. We don't know. Okay, no one expected COVID-19. It is here, it is real, and they need to deal with that before they can go back and look into digital assets. We have said, and we still do believe, regulatory framework will be rolled out this year. It's only April. There is plenty of time. It is not like they are building this from scratch. This has been in the works. I believe they need to put the final touches on it. Why do I think that? Because we are finally hearing about it. When you start to hear about a project, it is because the project is coming close to an end. And they are start starting to get the word out about it. So you can keep your eyes out and your ears open so you can listen for it. This is absolutely massive, massive news from the U.S. Department of Treasury. Have a read. Comment below. Let me know what you think about that final paragraph and the setting the proper frameworks for digital assets. I was so pumped to read this last night. Absolutely amazing. And this was a great find. All right, let's hop over. From Rob Ark, give him a follow. Craig Phillips is now on the board of directors at Ripple. Look at this picture. This is from Craig Phillips. Look whose hands he's shaking. Mnuchin. Who met with Mnuchin? Ripple. It has been an honor serving the Treasury Steve Mnuchin. I have been so proud to represent the administration, dynamic tax, regulatory, and economic policies. There is much to be pr there is much to be proud of, and I look forward to cheering the team on as my services. Stewart sums this up beautifully for us. Craig Phillips joins Ripple Board of Directors October 22nd, 2019. FinAct appoints Craig January 14th, 2020. 
DV01 appoints Craig Phillips as senior advisor January 28, 2020. Fintech pioneer House Carney adds Craig Phillips as senior advisor February 26, 2020. A busy man. You damn right he is. Absolutely fantastic what is going on here and all the connections that Ripple has. Just remember, Chips is ready. It's coming soon. Russia, China, India, looking to bypass SWIFT. That is coming to life as well. And the U.S. Treasury looking to set up proper frameworks for digital assets. Everyone, the big picture is coming together. Buckle up, hang in there, hold on tight. We are all going to make it. Step away if the price is too much of a distraction for you. Come back in a couple of years. Remember that. That's going to do it for this video, everyone. Make sure you check out our website, xrprightnow.com. But for now, it's been a pleasure. I know it's sad to see me go, but Ripple Van Winkle is out.